seek a no. way out. What? No! I mean, if she's from the future. Big ass arrow. Oh, on the you ground. fuck off! Hey, There's mushroom. a plague. There's a red spotted <laughs> mushroom growing off. in the shadow of the tree. Give me mushroom. Bye. Large Japanese Zokova tree. Why do we know that? I don't know. Tree. It's not Japanese. I can't, but I can't really tell. What's that? Yeah, she can take a closer look. Can't see anything. Also, just yeah, what a nice stream. Thank you. <laughs> Too bad there aren't any fish. Anyway, just looking at it from like the camera point of view, this is not a very big room. <laughs> Going to have to cross the water to get over there. What? Please be careful. If you slip, you could fall into the stream. Oh, it no. looks ankle deep. <laughs> wow, they even made a waterfall. Hold on. Doesn't it look like there's something built onto the rock wall behind the waterfall? Yeah, I the rock we goes under it, up. doesn't it? I wonder what's back there. Oh. Metal rock. A bludgeoning tool. A metal shaft. The tip has an octagonal hole. It looks kind of like a wrench. It's a bludgeoning tool. Can't get through the water. It's just impossible. Three red buttons. You fixed them, but nothing happened. Do you think they're broken? Maybe you just need to press them in a specific order. I think maybe you need to press the buttons in a specific order. Do you think maybe the order is written down somewhere? That was a lot of presses before it actually cut me off of something. That... that makes me feel bad. <laughs> something next to this my one, foot. You didn't try. You didn't go try middle, left, and right. Small copper key. Well, it goes in a keyhole. I mean, what else do you do with a key? Look, Luna, it's Sigma's house. Is that true, Sigma? Is this shed your house? You must be going through a rough time. Uh, even, uh, 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 a tool. No, the thing we need to hide the body. <laughs> hide. It's a steel covered shovel. <laughs> it's not rusty at all. Maybe keeping it in the shed kept it from rusting. No. It's had to be for digging stuff up. I can't think of any other use for it. Look at how pointy that. <laughs> we can reenact what happens in room two. Middle, left, right is the only one of the one of the combinations you haven't chosen. Well, I don't think that it's that easy. Oh. Are they not cutting me off now? Doesn't seem like it. Damn it. But it might just be that easy. You also you did didn't middle, do middle, right, left, left, right. You, you went middle, right, left. Not middle, left, right. <laughs> Bird's eye view of the garden. Kind of like a map. What's on the right? It looks like a box. I think it's a treasure chest. It's connected to the drawing above it, see? It's how to make money in Viva Pinata. Underneath the mushroom, there's a silver chest. Hey, it's a paprika. So paprika looks like? No, that's a pepper. Probably a bell pepper. Okay. Paprika is what you 
called the spice you make from them. So technically, we're both right. I'm below okay, okay. Oh, huh. Why is it split in half? I'm not sure. Wait, is there something in there? Oh yeah, let me take a look. Didn't think it's it's yeah. going to be made of metal. You can get lots of different colored coins by using different alloys. I saw a five cent coin made from brass once and a ten cent coin made from bronze. I've seen people using a metal detector to search for coins on those sh shows where they hunt for treasure. Yeah, I guess the coins are metal, that would make sense. I bet that's been split in half. This is where I found the yellow coin. The coin was inside the pepper, right? Maybe there are other... Maybe there are things in other vegetables, too. Maybe we need to eat to survive. Think there might be coins in these tomatoes? Mm, maybe, but there are an awful lot of them, and they all look the same. If only we had a way to tell which tomato had a coin in it. Looks like someone's planted some onions here. You think there might be a coin in one of them? Cucumber, cucumber. These cucumbers are so long. Do you think there might be a coin in one of them? Maybe we should just go through them one by one and bite into them? That's not a good idea. There's gotta be something we can use to make it easier. It's a flower pot. Nothing special about it at all. Wait! Don't people usually hide their house keys under a flower pot in a, or in a mailbox? They do? Just trust me. I'm sure there's something under there. Look at that. Da -na 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 -na. Silver key. Oh, silver key. Probably goes in a keyhole. I mean, what else do you do with a key? We don't need... Okay. That's fine. Uh, final area. You... Oh. Metal detector. That is... That is a very terrible looking metal detector. Anyway, this is a metal detector. It's fine. It's pretty much what it says on the tin. You just use it to detect metal. What sort of range do you think it has? It depends on the amount of metal. Large objects can be detected even if they're several meters underground. That's amazing! But what about small things like a ring or a screw? Yeah... Unfortunately, sometimes you can't find that sort of thing even if it's only a few centimeters underground. Oh. So you need to be pretty close to it for the metal detector to work, then. There's a keyhole. This is... It looks like a tombstone. So the people buried here are Mr. Tufei and Mrs. Ego Eris? What? Well, that's what it says. Tuf, you, Ego Eri. That's an epitaph. Something they feel represents them, or just a phrase that they liked. What does it mean? Beats me. Any ideas, Luna? It looks like it's Latin, but I don't know what it means either. Huh. Did you see this? It looks like there's a keyhole down there. Near the bottom. You're right. Brass key. No. That probably goes to the brass chest. Just under something. Silver thing. No. That silver key goes under for the chest under the mushroom. Looks like there's some sort of tile mosaic on the bottom of the pond. Lion eating the sun. A lion. Yeah. Looks like a lion, alright. 
Destruction. You going to dig up the skunk cabbage? Poor thing. It never did anything to you. Don't worry. I'll replant it when we're done. Sigma did not replant it when they were done. Gold lid. Box of a gold lid, huh? Snazzy. Isn't opening though. Piece of metal. I think this is part of something. Right here kind of looks like a butterfly. Yeah. I can see that. Like, the wings. The other side... Bleh. The other side is sort of octagon octagonal in shape. Blur. made this by combining some things I found. Looks like some kind of hand. This looks like something just... This looks like somebody just tore the handle off a door. If you put the butterfly end into something, you could probably use it like a handle. Metal scale. Gold. Play it on each side. Right side. Key. All golden key. Probably goes in a keyhole. Oh. And on the left... Oh, yeah. This looks like a paring knife. What's that? It's a knife you use for small, delicate work, like de-veining shrimp. But you can use it to cut pretty much anything. That's awesome. Like that woman over there. <laughs> um, That's what I would suggest you use it for. You know all about cooking and stuff. I bet Alice just cuts things over bare hands. I guess it's time I showed you just how good I am at cooking things. I think I'll start by cooking you. Sorry. I hate her. It's a key. Put it in the box. Orange scrap of paper. I hate her so much. Wait, 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 go back. Mark what? On the table? There's a mark on the table. Never mind. This is a balance scale. I just wanted to read more things. Oh right, you can put things on the plates to see what's heavier. Balance scale, I can use it to weigh things. Balance scale, I can use it to weigh things. A bench! God, I didn't eat her shovel. Something missing? I just a mushroom. I'm missing. Whatever item has the bronze chest underneath it. Probably over there. It is. Some piece of dirt somewhere. This is a treasure chest, right? And this is an island? There aren't any islands in here, though. Something green growing on the top. Yeah, but there's grass everywhere in here. Maybe it's something else. Well, let's look for something with green on the top. It's a rock I'm with fucking moss us. on it. Jesus Christ. But, uh... Where, though? Right there? Yeah. It's a ways away. Sure it is. Alright, let's try digging here. Bronze lid. This paper has seven red dots on it and an arrow running down the left edge. Maybe we're supposed to read this in the direction of the arrow. Right, or left, right, right, left, middle, middle, right. It looks like the dots are all are all either in the middle, on the left, or on the right. Left, it right, right, left, or middle, middle, right? It was not just one, two, three. I 
still don't see how this matters. It's just water. I don't either, but people are stupid. They scalding water. It's not though. The waterfall stopped. I guess that was the waterfall control panel. What? The indentations are small and circular, so we probably need something that matches that description. Points. Do you have anything like that? Small and circular, huh? Back to the vegetable garden. We have a paring knife. And a metal detector. Three more. Oh! Look! The metal detector is reacting to this one! Okay, can you grab that one then? Right! Did any of the others cause any reaction? No, just this one. Here you go. Freshly picked cucumber. A cucumber in our inventory. That somehow is more ridiculous than anything else we've done so far. Oh, this one! It's reacting to this onion! Alright, let's dig it up. Can we dig the fake jellyfish out of a boiling water tank? This is the only one that I got a reaction, right? Freshly excavated onion. The meta detector seems to be responding to this tomato! Alright, grab it. Okay! Did it react to any of the others? Clocking a tomato does not have a fleshy, squishy sound. This one No, did. just this one! Here you go! That was disturbing. Metal detector reacted to something inside this tomato, right? There must be some metal in there, then. Red coin. <laughs> Onion stuff. That must mean there's metal in there. I guess brown coin. Nope. White coin. Ooh. Cucumber. This one has to be green. There must be something inside it. Green coin. Okay, so now we got a bunch of coins of different colors. Green. Golden, red, yellow. The lion? Was this one that we got from the onion, right? Yes. Yeah. You know we got the yellow one first, right? Yeah. Fair. Neither of them. Okay. So now we got a bunch of coins. The only thing with colors, colors has the lion. Also that Latin phrase, whatever that is. And that thing that we haven't looked at, apparently. And it fits perfectly. Good. Now try turning it. I turned the handle, it got dark. It looks like the light up there went down. Maybe that light was sort of a surrogate sun. If that's the case, it didn't just get dark, it became nighttime. So, the garden needs nighttime? I guess so. Or maybe there's someone, some hidden meaning in switching from night to day. Let's see if anything changed now that it's dark. The lion ate the sun. If we want it to be afternoon again, we'll have to do... All we have to do is turn the handle, right? Blair. Well, first off, there's a safe down there. Gotta touch it. This is a safe, right? It looks like one, at least. There was a safe that looked like this in the crew quarters, too. See if we can get it open. Oh. <laughs> this time. With 
gonna happen. Hey there. Whoa, 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 Purple, blue, yellow, Purple, green, blue, yellow, red, green, red, white is at the end. Oh, shut up. Because the sun is just a star. The star showed up once night fell. There's no other red ones. I wonder if there's some significance to that. There's also no white ones, and we have a white coin. But well, we need to use the things that we have. You like to tell what's going on? Shut up. Yeah. Eric! We don't have some of the colors that came up. It's a four thing. We need to use them all. You have green, you have yellow, you have red, but you don't have a white. We have a white. We do have a white. That's a but white right there. You don't have a red. You don't, don't have a white have a star. The only approximation I can say is this white goes after the red. Or purple. It's so small and cute. So far I found one star. What? We just like found all of Every star. Apparently. This one's blue. I feel like I could just reach out and grab it. How romantic. Well, I am a woman. It looks a little large for me to carry, though. If I, I found mean, two stars. Doesn't hurt to try. If while you're trying, you fall in. This one's yellow. Oh, well. <laughs> the size, shape, and color are all exactly what I'd expect from a star. I guess you could say this is a typical star. I would say it's mid-sized. So far I found three. <laughs> star looks pretty green. That's a pretty small star. I'm impressed you even saw it. Four so far. <laughs> star is definitely red. The light is right underneath it. This is a big star. Found five. So far, is there more somewhere? Everything's too dark to look at. Actually looking up doesn't get us anything and it's very difficult to do. Things there. Okay, it's, fine. It's too dark, <laughs> apparently. Too dark, can't look at things. I don't remember so, the order now. Too many load screens. Purple, blue. Purple, blue. Yellow, yellow green, green, red. So I would say yellow, green, red, white is how it goes. If it's just based off of what we have. Because we have not found anything that says otherwise. There are also five stars. Turn back on the sun. Welcome back, sun. <laughs> We're gonna handle back and make the room bright again. The light that went down when you turned the night on came back up. So now the sun is out and it's gone from night to afternoon. I mean, you could just say night to day, but okay, here. Yeah. The green, red, white. A little mosaic of a lion. Weird that it goes there because it goes right in the center and it doesn't actually hit the little circle. It just 
goes underwater there. It's a little... Well, wrong button. A little bit big for that. Like there's just enough room for two on this bench. Why are you looking at me? No reason. Adorable. Did you weigh the coins? Aren't you guys tired? Why don't we rest on this bench for a while? The water from the waterfall splashes all over it, though. If we sit here, won't um our butts get wet? Damn it. I've been made. What? It's a reddish coin found into match a white coin found in onion. Yellow coin. Greenish coin. No. 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 Purple, blue, yellow, green, red. We have white, yellow, green, red. So it's either yellow, green, red, white, or white, yellow, green, Purple red. Purple and blue together. I mean, Where the stars can relate to a different puzzle. That feels unlikely. I mean, you have to use the scales for something. I feel if you're going to use them for anything, get weighing the coins will be it. Because all the coins are the same size. Perhaps. I don't know. Hmm. This is a balance scale. You can use it to weigh things. It can help you tell if things look similar have different things that look similar have different weights. Like those four coins, for instance. Why would that matter? Yellow is lighter than green. White is lighter than green. Red is lighter than green. Green is the heaviest. Good. Yellow and white. Green is equal to... Why are you this doing have... like that? What? It's blue everywhere. Do you think it's broken? Let's see. Oh, I get it. If you use a scale more than five times, it triggers this spring, which makes the whole thing shake. It'll do the same thing if you stop using it before you've reached it five times. Oh, right. We need to pick up all the coins. Oh, no, I've got the coins. Does that have to do with anything? Well, now we know that the green one is the most heavy. Second most heavy we need to determine. Red. Here. Yep. You are incorrect. Oh. Immediately. Hmm. We know that red's heavier than yellow, though. Red heavier than white? No. White is the second most heaviest. Green, yellow, white, red. And then of these two... Yellow and white. So it's green, white... You haven't yellow, checked yellow red. and white. Yes. Doesn't, we don't need to. There you go. Green, yellow, white, green, red. Green, yellow, white, red. Okay. Yeah, 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 shut up. But this is also a puzzle. Yeah, but I don't know what to do with it. But there is greater than symbols on that thing over there.
Green, yellow, white, red. What's that noise? It sounded like something unlocking. Guess this wasn't just a panel, it's actually a door. And there's a screen inside of it. It's gonna show green. Never mind, it's gonna be another puzzle. What are we supposed to do with them? Well, why don't you try touching them? On them in order of size? Oh. That's for the green puzzle. Awesome. Solved it. Good work. Look at the screen. Yeah, so the blue one is going to be in order of size, more than likely. Huh? <laughs> Wait, this is... The safe password! Red is the biggest, green is the smallest, I don't remember the rest. I think yellow was mid-sized. Green, yellow, blue, purple, red. Then it's inversed, so red, purple, blue, yellow, green. Sorry. Yellow, green. I, come on. No, that's not it's right. Not in order of size, think, then. Yeah, it is, because blue is bigger than yellow. Yeah, that's why I did blue before yellow. Green is the smallest. Yellow is second smallest. Blue the... is bigger than yellow. No, but smaller purple, than purple is second smallest. Purple is bigger than blue. I don't think so. <laughs> Red and yellow are right next to one another. I believe. No. Red with yellow with the average one. Yeah. So it's biggest to smallest. I think it's red, blue, yellow, purple, green. That's it. You did it! Sorry, I was looking at something else. Check out the screen. Whoa, what's going on? The screen's changed. I didn't get the last key. No, we didn't get a key for the tombstone. Did you back out of that, or did it kick you out? You out, okay. You can only assume it's going to be in this fucking thing here. Stars. It wouldn't be in that thing. Because why would it? You know? Why wouldn't it? There have been other random fucking things in here. You did it! Every time there's something in a safe, it's for after you leave the room, not for in Good that Good job, room. Sigma! Don't know. Don't care. Ice nine. Oh, fuck off with ice nine. We know what it is. H. This is that just Kintaro Hongo, or however you fucking say his name. Morphogenetic field theory. Immuno goblin. You know goblin. Immuno. Globulin. Unigabu. Or the IG replicator, which we found in the lab. Factorization, reducing a number to a series of numbers that blah 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 blah. Prime factor, oh. ugh. Oof, that word. Built of a well known Latin phrase. It made looks like it's talking about a pair of sexy toaster waffles, but it actually means something like, what you are, I was. When I am, you will be. Sometimes used as an epitaph. The implication is that the person in question is once alive, like the reader, but that the reader will someday also be dead. A little ominous, I guess. Oh, hey! So, I guess, blah blah blah, Alice wearing clothes. Look at that. It's possible. I think. We're gonna have. Ah. 
Star, Sun Star. I think you were fairly close to getting it right on that one, too. I'm gonna manage it one of these times. Whoa, it opened again. Or I won't. Is there something inside? There's a lot of stuff. No, there's not. There's a lot of stuff in here. Now, first and foremost, the map underneath everything else. Yup. Let's have a look at it all, then. First off, the map underneath everything. <laughs> this looks like a map. On the up, for left, it says floor B. The map we found on the crew quarter said floor A. So A is the top floor and B is the bottom floor. I mean, I know he took the elevator down to get here, so... Right. Let's keep going. There are more things in the safe. This is... The key card. It has a moon on it. That means... Yeah, this is the moon card that the announcement was talking about. There's two of them in here, just like with the sun card. You should take one, Alice. Why? Well, you're a solo. Luna and I will take one and you take the other. Right. Thanks. So, what do we got next? It looks like a piece of paper. What Ooh. is this? The book? Some kind of diagram? What the fuck? Anyway, I it test doesn't something. make any sense. Wonder what it is. Oh well, just forget about it for now. I'll always come back to it later. Two more things. What's this? It looks like a note. It says Ig equals immunoglobulin. What's immunoglobulin? It's another word for an antibody. You mean like the thing in your body that fights off bacteria and viruses and stuff? Yes. So, what is this supposed to tell us? Honestly, I have no idea. I think it left is the key. That must be the key to the exit! <sighs> yes, I think you're right. We should be able to use it to open the door. Key found in safe. This is the key from the safe. Awesome, what are we waiting for? Right there. There's a lock on it. Alright, let's get this thing open. Yes, let's. Please do. Here we go. Three, two, one. You found it. 